the primary purpose of a logo is to identify a company, brand, product, or organization. Logo animation serves to attract attention, foster connections between brands and their audiences, humanize brands, and enhance brand loyalty. Want to learn how to animate a logo in Filmora? Keep watching! Before we begin, if you haven't already installed Wondershare Filmora, please visit the official website and download the latest version. Then, install it on your computer. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Filmora offers a wide range of templates to create animated logo animation in just a few clicks. Also, Filmora offers a wide range of effects which can be used to create a dynamic logo animation. Let's see how to animate a logo in Filmora 14. First, let's create a background. Begin by going to the Effects tab and searching for Particle Filter. Apply the Particle Filter and Transition Overlay 13 to Track 1, setting the duration to 12 seconds. Next, adjust the Opacity to 7. Then, apply Particle Overlay 7 and change its Opacity to 13. First, place the logo on Track and set its duration to 12 seconds. Next, go to the Effects panel and apply the Basic 3D Effect from the Basic Effects section. This effect allows you to rotate your video or logo 360 degrees. At the beginning, set the rotation to 85 degrees. Then at 7 seconds and 20 frames, change the rotation to 0 degrees. After that, navigate to the Boris FX folder and then to the Lights folder. Scroll down and apply the BCC Edge Lighting effect. At the start, set the light duration to negative 369 degrees and the light elevation to 100 degrees on the keyframe. Adjust the highlight post blur to 2. Then scroll down and set the shadow intensity to 252 on the keyframe. At 7 seconds and 20 frames, update the light direction to negative 270 degrees, the light elevation to 22 degrees, and the shadow intensity to 2. Finally, convert the logo clip into a compound clip. Now go to the sticker section and type in Lens Flare in the search bar. You'll find many options to choose from. Select the Lens Flare Element 11 and place it on the top track at the 15th frame. Rotate it by 90 degrees and adjust the scale to your liking. For the Position keyframe, set the starting position of the flare, and then at the end of the animation, change the position so that the flare moves upwards from the bottom of the frame. After 20 frames, duplicate the flare on the track above, increase its scale, and make this flare travel from the top downwards. Next, add two more flares. Position two behind the logo and keep two on top of it. Once again, go to the effects and search for particle filter. Apply overlay 18 on the top track and set the opacity to 33. Then apply overlay 15 and set the opacity to 60. First, apply the BCC fast lens blur effect. Set the duration of this effect to one second and five frames and create an iris keyframe. At the end of this duration, set the iris value to zero. Next, at the eight second mark, add an opacity keyframe for all overlays. Then at the nine second mark, set the opacity of all overlays to zero. To complete your logo animation, start by adding text and applying a fade in effect. If you'd like, you can enhance the animation by using the BCC light sweep effect for a more captivating look. Once you've finished editing, Render the project to get your logo animation. It's that simple to animate your logo in Filmora. Don't forget to download or update your Filmora version using the link in the description. If you found this helpful, give us a big thumbs up and share it with your fellow creators and editors. If you're interested in visual effects and tutorials, check out filmora.wondershare.com. See you in the next video.